My name is Arctic. Welcome to the corner. Today we talk about Vital, a really crazy FM wavetable synthesizer that is actually fucking phenomenal. My name is Arctic. Welcome to the corner. I hope you enjoy your stay. Today we talk about Vital. First things first, let's open up FL Studio and pop in a instance of Vital. Vital. And vitalize. Yeah. And put on my headphones because that's a big, that's a big, that's a big number one thing. Okay, so we just pop uh, one of these in. <clears throat> By the way, if you're not interested in this type of format, I highly consider checking out my other videos. I'm gonna be making a podcast soon, don't know on what, um, and we're gonna have some fun. So this is vital, this is vital. You can see all of these advanced awesome, <sighs> ah, yes. You have all these awesome things. And let me say, they're pretty fucking great. So first things first, I'm gonna show you the basic things that I use. First things first, we need to turn down attack really. And then what I'm gonna do now is open up, oh fuck. So I'm gonna have the presets, go to my user. And these are some presets I made in Vital. Pretty crazy, uh, but these two are basically the same basis, a little variation in the midst of production. So yeah, uh, let's hear this one. Hold up. Voice meter, you're not the loudest. Obviously. There it is. And then we have this bass. Which basically is just a little bit, a little more distortion and then some other stuff. So this is my very first time playing on Invital. So I'm gonna show you guys what, what I did. Uh, and then we have this random sequence. I think I can improve this one just a smidge, but we're gonna start with a brand new preset. Just go init preset. And uh, by the way, this is init preset. It has very, very interesting sounds, and I think it looks phenomenal for a plugin. And in fact, you can go into here and change your window size. And obviously, if I just exit out, of FL Studio, I can search up Vital and Windows, and boom, it's, it's right there. It's amazing. So it's its own standalone synthesizer, which it's based off of the Ableton stock. So you gotta really know how to play your piano on a keyboard. Heh. Very interesting, right? So it does have some capabilities, but I imported some wavetables to play around with as I was you know, just starting to use this plugin. And um, basically, I don't think you can have any more than 2,000 wavetables in a given folder. That's why my it doesn't tell, it doesn't split the wavetables into its own individual folders. It actually needs, I, I think that's a big thing Matt needs to work on. But this is essentially the wavetable chooser. Uh, there, better. So if we just <clears throat> if we just choose any of one of these presets, let's say Reese Mess three. This reminds me of playing on Ableton all over again. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick time. Oh, I'm gonna do a quick vote card and then do a performance. And already we have this really cool phasey beast sound. Then we play around with a second type of phase. And then we can obviously do the FMs. The FMs are the most important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modulate the formant scale and the FM from 
B, play around with that. And I'm gonna choose a different kind of analog sound for the second oscillator. You can obviously make some pretty cool things. Bass basses sounds, uh, bass bass sounds. And then also what I'm gonna do is do it like kind of like a quantize. Or a four bass. Try none of these and the attack. Obviously it takes some playing around with to get like really crazy and out of the day sounds. But the best thing is you get this really nice circle around your uh, cursor. And you can change frequency. I think the bass tempo is like 120. I'm not sure entirely, but yeah. It can take a long time to play around with your presets and stuff. So, or at least get everything like really good. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze it. And actually let's do a bunch of it. A lot of it takes a little bit of pretty, uh, like kind of synthesizer knowledge. So what I'm gonna do is gonna put a multiband compressor on it, compressor, compressor on it, uh, some distortion, maybe some chorus, or maybe just like a filter, a combs filter to be exact. You get all these kind of really nice. You get a lot of really nice things and uh, you get some pretty nice extreme sounds you can make with this, but you can make some pretty nice rhythm basses in it too. So that's really nice. Um, the next thing I was going to play with was like these wavetable presets from the show world, right? And then obviously you can make some pretty good like additive synth stuff, but I'm going to do and just some of that. Uh, I'm going to play around the vocoding and I'm just playing around with these effects really add some spunk. I'm going to put a separate album. But the other thing I wanted to talk about, Vital, is you can actually copy LFOs from one to another. I don't know if this works between synthesizers, but it's pretty finicky right now, as it was just released. But I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know how to turn on um, triplet mode in this, but it is pr it gets pretty intense. And then obviously you got the chorus, which is like a staple for every synthesizer. Probably gonna include a little reverb. Uh, I like the combs filter a lot, especially, but it's a bit much in this, 
but if you're like, hey, I like my common filters, feel free to use them. Obviously, you can keep track it. I was gonna add in like a a second filter because there's three filters in this thing, and it's crazy. I was gonna add in like a second band or a high, high pass filter. And that's basically my demonstration. <laughs> you can turn on sync mode. You can actually have random buffers to do that and stuff. You can also have macros, which are really crazy. I'm gonna use this to FM from C. And that is how I'm going to use it. It sounds really like really interesting. I don't think you can do as well if I'm in this as much as you can in Sam. But that's that's essentially what you're doing. It's more like making really crazy sounds and experimenting with it. And then that is so loud. Ow! <laughs> so you can turn it down by just hitting the slider. And you get these really nice, awesome sounds. You play around with the way you hit it. And that's basically like pitch shifting in a sense. Probably gonna make a couple of different patches here today. Um, and then play around with oscillators. And then dining side. Yeah, that'll be. And then we're going to play around with a squeeze. I, don't, I just want an LFO2 for that. I want to see what the reverb sounds like. And then I'm gonna probably apply a random modulator. This 
This is really easy to make some really powerful different sounds. Sounds like a orchestral kind of like sound. Oh, it sounds so cool. It's a really interesting way. That's ah. These are really great presets for people that are like, hey, I don't know what to do with this plugin. Even Halcyon made uh, some stuff. It's destroying the stuff, but you know, it, it'll do. Um, so yeah, it's destroying the audio in OBS. It's so loud, man. It is so loud compared to, to the thing that I've done to it. Anyway, my name is Artic. If you enjoyed these videos, please consider subscribing. Uh, more videos are coming out after the first of the year. So who knows? I might make a cool video, I might not make a cool video. Anyway, my name is Arctic, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.